what's up guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me hello and if you are returning welcome back first and foremost happy new year to all of you guys i hope you enjoy, are enjoying your new year so far and happy belated valentine's day i'm not sure if that's the thing but i'm gonna start it so keep this going happy belated valentine's day to all of you i hope you guys enjoy that as well and if you read the title, you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. So if you are interested in hearing my story, please stick around. So first and foremost, what is hydrogenitis superativa? Hydrogenitis superativa is when bumps would grow underneath your skin in specific areas such as the armpits or in your groin area or anywhere where sweat glands would be. Um, I have had this skin condition ever since I was 12 years old and I really did not think anything of it. You know, you're 12 years old. Who's going to be thinking about you know, bumps forming under your arms. You're still trying to learn your body yourself. Didn't really think anything of it. Then as time went on, you just let it go pretty much. And then it got even worse when I got in middle school. Then puberty started. And then it was like, the most scariest experience of my life. And it was really bad in middle school. Then it kept going on up until I was 17. I finally had surgery, but it wasn't for under my arms. It was, it also growed on my face, right there. Don't know if you guys can see it. I will insert a picture of it for a closer look. I, it also developed on my face as well. One time, and when I went to go get the surgery done for it, the doctor said when he removed it, it was as big as a jawbreaker candy. He even showed me a picture of it. I was like, oh my God, it was red and it looked just the size of a jawbreaker. And it was in my mouth, you know, well not in my mouth, I could move it from the inside of my mouth. It didn't hurt. It didn't cause me any pain. I could just move it from the inside of my mouth. I mean, it was right there on my face. I could just move it with my tongue, like, and it didn't even hurt. And then fast forward from 12 to 27, I'm still living with the skin condition. Um, over the years, I have just learned to just deal with it pretty much. I just figured, you know, maybe I'm one of the rare people in the world that developed this skin condition. Um, as I know, no one in my immediate family has the skin condition. I just developed this on my own. Um, as the years went on, I got, I did a little more research on hydrogenitis superativa, you know, like what causes it, you know, how can I get rid of it? Is anyone else living with this? Like any Google search you can think of, I've looked it up to the point where I've gotten obsessed with it to the point where I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I just want it gone to, I'll just deal with it. I'll live with it to, I want to get rid of it again. Like you just go through so many emotions and you just go through so many like, did I do something to cause this? You start blaming yourself, thinking that something's wrong with you, but in reality, it's not you. It's just 
your genetic makeup of how you were born. You didn't do anything wrong specifically, but you go through so many emotions and it's like you just drive your own self crazy trying to come up with questions, answers, solutions, anything you can think of just to get an answer, you know? And then I want to say this year, I finally got to the point where I'm just like, I am so tired of these things being under my arm. And they have also grown in other places. Um, they have mostly grown under my arm, in my groin area. They have also grown at one point, there was, it growed one time on my butt, but that was only one time when that happened and then it went away and it never came back. I even had one instance where it growed inside of my belly button. That was disgusting. Um, and speaking of disgusting, when it busses, it's like this bloody, pussy, off yellow-like substance that drains out after it busts. I mean, me even describing it sounds nasty. But just imagine living with it. Imagine when it busses. And I've had these long enough to know that when you have one of these mostly under when I get them under my arm you know that when it gets you know when it starts to get red and when it starts to hurt really bad you know it's getting ready to bust but the time it takes for it to finally bust it's like oh my god just bust already I remember there was one time I had one under my arm and I got so desperate to the point where I actually took a scalpel and I was poking it just so it can hurry up and bust. And I wasn't doing nothing but making myself bleed, making it worse. And then I started following this Facebook group. I would put the Facebook group up on the screen. Um, and it's this group of other people in the world that have the same skin condition that I do. Because for a long time, I want to say for years, I really felt like I was by myself. I'm like, nobody has this. I'm the only person going through this. Nobody in my family has it. Something is seriously wrong with me until I found the Facebook group. And I want to say I found the Facebook group back in 2020, maybe. And when I found the group, I was like, oh my God, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. There's other people out here that have the same thing that I do, and I finally have some people that I can talk to that are going through the same things that I'm going through. Like, it was like a weight lifted off of my shoulders. Like, I was praying to the Lord, please, for years, please, let there be a discovery. You know, let doctors do some research. Let people get more educated about this. Like, I've prayed since I was 12 for this to get discovered. And I felt like my prayers was finally answered back in 2020 when I joined this Facebook group and I discovered them on Facebook. It was like a long-awaited blessing just, like, showered all over me. When I found them on Facebook, I was crying. I was happy. I, it was tears of joy, pretty much. And I was like, I cannot believe that there are people out here that are just like me. It was amazing. And so if you guys follow the Facebook group, I do believe that you have to request to join. Um, because I'm not, I don't remember when I joined. I think I had to ask to join. And then I was um, allowed to join. But once you guys join the group... The people in there are so helpful. Like they'll talk about different skin care that you can do to prevent them. What they did to um, not have them grow as much. What you can use, like 
when I joined the Facebook group, I learned how to use tea tree oil under my arm. I learned how to use the turmeric and water paste under my arm. Um, I also got into using the 0% Dove under your arms, you know, the deodorant under your arms. I'll put a picture of all these up on the screen for you guys. Um, I'm also looking into buying this antimicrobial wash that I can use to put under my arm as well. It's like this, um, I could have sworn I think I've seen it in the hospitals, but I'll put a picture up on the screen of, of it, what I'm talking about. I have not been successful finding it in Walmart, but I'm going to continue looking for it. If not, I'll just order it from Amazon and I have my own, you know. Um, they also talk about the things that they drink to cause it. Some people said they lost weight and it went away. Well, it didn't went away, but like you lose some weight and it like it does not occur as much. Um, you can also, they had that as an idea you can do. There's so many different things from the Facebook group that you can, that is very informational that you can get from them. Um, and then you can exchange ideas. Like if you have something that you did, you can be like, Hey, I did this and this worked for me. And then you just bounce off ideas. It's a very helpful Facebook group. Um, they helped me out a lot throughout the years when I felt like I was, when I was having a flare up, I'm like, oh my God, guys, I'm having a flare up. What, what, what do I do? Is there anything that I can try? Cause I even got to the point where I'm now taking, um, turmeric pills or the turmeric vitamins, um, with the cure coming. That's another thing that they told me that I could try to suppress the bumps from forming. Um, I've been taking that. I have not been consistent with it, to be honest, but I am going to go back to using it. Um, I got that. Um, and I also had bought, um, I think I'll put a picture up on the screen if I can't think of the name right now, but I bought this honey salve by Mama O and it's specifically for people that has hydrogenitis superativa. You just take it. It's like a creamy, you know, natural um, cream that you could put under your arms or different places where they're forming or different places where you actually have the bumps and you can put them under the affected area. And another thing that you can do, you can actually put a gauze on top of it so that it can, you know, um, stay, um, enclosed and watch it bust over time. Of course, you know, take it off, wash that area with some antibacterial soap and then reapply some more and then put the gauze, a new gauze over it. That has helped me throughout the time. Um, but yeah, and I finally had a breakthrough yesterday. I made a doctor's appointment to go see the doctor. I went to an urgent care and I pretty much told them like, hey, this is my first time coming to the doctor in years. Um, I believe that I suffer from this skin condition called hydrogenitis superativa. I've never been officially diagnosed with it by a doctor, but I believe that I have it. And when I was sitting down talking with the doctor, he pretty much, you know, took a look under my arm and that's when he said, wow, you really know your stuff. You're right. You actually do have hydrogenitis superativa. And when he told me that I was like, I really want, I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry in the doctor's office yesterday because when I was 17, and when I was 12 talking about it, nobody knew what the hell I was talking about. Everybody was looking at me like I was speaking Chinese or French. Nobody knew what I was talking about. And then now, 15 years later, to see there's actually someone out here that knows about it now versus how it was when I was 17 and when I was 12 to now, it's like, 
They're doing their research. They are doing their research. Thank God. There are some doctors out here that are getting educated on what this is. And so, um, yesterday he prescribed me two medications. I will put them both up on the screen. Um, because I don't know how to pronounce them. Well, I know one of them, it's pronounced uh, clindamycin. I got that yesterday. It's like a gel um, that I put under my arm. I just re I just put it under my arm um, last night. And I'm seeing some good results. I'm seeing some good results. And then the other one that I have is a tablet. I take one every 12 hours. Again, I'll put it up on the screen because I do not know how to pronounce that. And I'm also taking that as well. So he prescribed me those two um, medications. And the awesome thing about it is I have three refills on the gel, which is great because if I ever run out of the gel, I can just refill it three more times and I'll still have it which is great. All I gotta do is get me some gauze. I'm going to the store today so I can get me some gauze and I'm gonna use the gel, put that underneath my arm and watch the magic happen. Watch the magic happen. Um, I have always wanted to share this with you guys. I've just been a little nervous because I just did not know how I should talk about this with anyone, if I should talk about this with anyone. Of course, people in my immediate family knows um, that I have this skin condition, but you guys didn't know. And I just wanted to share that with you guys so that I will be, you know, transparent, um, open with you guys and share my story. Okay. So I am going to show a video instead of my right arm. Again, if you are not for the strong, please leave now or forever for your peace. But if you have a strong stomach, then here we go. So here is my right arm right now. That is my right arm right now. And as you can see, um, there's one right there. There's another one right there. And there's another one right up here. So that's my right arm. And then here's my left arm. Okay, this is my left arm. And as you can see, I got one right here. This one bust last night. I have another one right up there. And then I have this one that has never grown right there before. Right there, number three. Yep. So I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my story of me being a survivor of hydrogenitis superativa and if you guys have any more suggestions or if you guys have anything that you would like me to try please leave a comment down below and if you guys are interested in seeing more content from me please subscribe and i will catch you guys on my next video